So the difference between a professor and a lecturer. So first of all, um, I'm going to say that both of them are amazing and both of them are very accomplished in what they do in the field. They understand the field very well. They're very knowledgeable. Um, but there's just, you know, a slight difference in terms of what they do in this sort of contractual nature of what they actually do with the university that they're actually at. So a lecturer is going to be primarily focused on teaching and sort of had te teaching responsibilities. And so they can teach, you know, one course or they can teach six courses if they're a full time lecturer. And sometimes they have different names for it, like, you know, teaching professor or something along those lines. They'll sort of indicate that. But um, then there is the professor, which is usually referring to somebody that has a tenure track position or is tenured at the university. So this means that they've done research, they, they also teach, and they do a little bit of service at the university. So sometimes the lecturers do service as well. Um, and, that, and really what that is, it's just saying to other people that, uh, or, or you know, participating in committees and different things like that. Um, or doing things in the community. And so the real, only real difference is that one of them is, so the professor is tenure track. And so they have a, a component that is research. And, you know, what is research or what, what is going on there? Really a big part of that is notoriety or status or fame based on their particular ideas of what they're, what they're trying to accomplish and what they're trying to do. And if they get a certain amount of research status, notoriety, or fame, or whatever, citations, whatever you're going to look at, that usually is an indication that they're just doing research and, and they're well known for what they're actually doing, rather than, you know, the lecturer is going to be more focused on, you know, actually teaching the knowledge that is being generated that the the different researchers around the world are actually doing. So it is a combination. So a professor does a little bit of a combination of that. And depending on where you are, you do less teaching or more research. You know, there's there's kind of a wide variance in what you're trying to do. But a lecturer is going to be primarily focused on looking at what other people have researched and telling people about that. And, and then often the lecturer is going to be primarily teaching undergraduates um, it's not common to see them teaching graduate students just because the courses get more research oriented. It becomes more difficult to sort of stay on top of the knowledge and it gets just really confusing, right? So you, the people that teach a graduate course and the more sort of difficult graduate courses, they become more research focused and research oriented just because, you know, the, the knowledge changes in 10 years. The knowledge of what we actually do right now is is totally different than what we learned 10 years ago. If I was to teach my graduate, my PhD students that, that we have at our institution, if I was to teach them some of the stuff that would have been taught 10 years ago, um, now a lot of it's valid, 75% of it's valid, but but 25% is is totally different. In fact, it's now it's really changed in, in the last decade because there was this thing called the credibility um, revolution where people are really focused on making sure that they have valid insights. In science, I know it seems really counterintuitive, but we're always doing that. It's just kind of a brand name. Um, you know, like people sort of brand named this thing that's going on. But, uh, you know, really what we're trying to, to do is, is to point out what I'm trying to say is, is to teach those graduate courses, they tend to be professors that are research oriented. So that's the real difference. There's, there's not a, a lot. I wouldn't say that there is you know, this dramatic, that one is, is a better teacher than the other. Actually, most of the times the lecturers are much better teachers because that's what their job is and that's what they're focused on. So a professor tends to be a little bit more scattered. They, they tend not to, um, you know, focus on teaching as much because they have so many more priorities than the teaching, just the teaching themselves. And as they sort of go on in their career, they get more and more stuff. Maybe they run a center, um, you know, a research institute or something like that. And it's just like, oh my God. And so often, you know, it, what they do is they, they sort of talk about their inherent knowledge that they actually have learned over the years. And you do learn a lot by doing that research route. Um, but a lecturer is gonna be really focused on that delivery and really doing a good job of that delivery of transferring that knowledge to you. That's a huge difference. And, and the reason is, is because they just have so much 
um, you know, they're more dedicated to, to teaching than, than, than most professors are is really what it comes down to it. Um, and, and, and a lot of it's just resource constraints that everybody has and sort of picking and choosing your battles and what you want to do. So with that, uh, you know, hopefully this gives you a sense of what the difference, difference is. I didn't know. You know, I was kind of born and raised in the boondocks. I didn't know any of this kind of stuff. So hopefully this helped you out. And uh, if it did, give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.